Hey guys, do you know when you convert a raw data into a valuable information, it actually called as data analysis. Anyway, in this video, we'll be studying about data analyst and the modern data ecosystem. In case you don't know me, I am Rohit Krover and I'll be welcoming you to the journey of data addicts. First, we will start with what is data analysis. So it is a process of inspecting. Inspecting is a process when you collect the data, which is raw data, which is in the form of unstructured or structured data, and we will convert to the valuable form, which is required form. Then after inspecting, we'll clean the data. After converting the raw data and checking all the, uh, fill, all the unfilled gaps, we will clean the data as per the requirements. Then after that, we will transform the data as per the requirements and convert it in, into a valuable information. Then after transforming, we will create a visual um, presentation of that data, which can be easily understandable with other, the, which can be easily understandable. After that, we'll move towards career path in data analysis. In this, we will looking into the branching into other professions, how data analytics can be helpful uh, in different professions. How can we choose our proper profession when you are a data analytic? So first is data scientist. Second is data engineering. Third is business analyst. And fourth is business intelligence analytics. These are the four professions which can be opted by a data analytic person. Let's move to the another topic, which is modern data ecosystem, which is a big topic in data analysis. In this, we will study about three different categories about the data, which, which are interconnected. The data is interconnected. So nowadays data is interconnected. Next step is independent so data is independent nowadays we don't need different software to access the data it the data can be accessible from one software <clears throat> next is it is continuously evolving the data is uh, in regular form and it can be evolved each and every step after we'll check after this we will go and proceed towards the process in this process We'll study about two different prospects. First is data source and second is users. So in this data source, the data captured and integrated from different sources. Data source can be a video source or it can be a SharePoint or it can be a Google Drive. It can be a Dropbox too. So everything, every um, a data source can be a thing which, which actually has the data it can be a usb drive too because it has the data next uh, next topic is next point is analysis to generate insight so after data source the, the data is connected and the user create an insight and create a visual uh, presentation of that data and that can be shared to share active shareholders and all those active shareholders can uh, collaborate in that data. Active shareholders are those thing, are those person, basically those person who actually works in the department and can be and can be uh, involved in that data. So if the per, if if, if uh, for example we will study we will dealing with three departments first is HR second is like back office third is your compliance department and we will study we will con uh, create a data here uh, which is collected with compliance but some of the parts which is also connected with HR like all the data has email IDs of the users and all, and also the email IDs of the employees. So all the email IDs of the employee can be collected from HR. So these 
HR is a active shareholder and a stakeholder of that data. So all these the, uh, departments can be the active stakeholders. Next. Next is tools, applications and infrastructure to store. So what does it mean? Tools, application and infrastructures. So application can be a share point. Okay, infrastructure can be a laptop or a USB stick or anything or anything else. Next is, so after this, we will study like all the data is interconnected. All it can be uh, accessible to users. User can uh, collect the data on a regular basis like that only. So after that, we will study about the process again. So the data source is converted into two different categories. First is structured and second is unstructured. What is structured? First of all, structure is a data where there is no gaps which actually are uniform data but otherwise in the on the other hand in the unstructure it is a data with all the gaps which can be filled which can be converted into structure so after this these two converted into the data repository when you convert the data when you take the data from structure and unstructure and create a database or a uniform data and save it in the data repository now what is data repository repository is a word which which has a meaning of a database anything uh, database or any base which can collect the data or any useful information so data repository actually is a database which collects small pieces of data and can be accessible to every person who has the access to the data repository now moving towards the challenges while uh, doing the process what are the challenges we face <clears throat> which is the reliability and the security why so reliability yeah we know reliability but why security so basically security because we are dealing with the data right and data can be confidential too right so security should be there because earlier we also know there are many hacking or phishing people can access your data and sell it to the market right so security is a major challenge while dealing with the data now moving towards moving towards the next step so when the data so when the data repository we will get the data repository we will get the data from the data repository and we will save in our own database or on one drive or one sharepoint or dropbox or drive google drive so it it should be organized right cleaned and optimized so what is cleaned now organized we all know what is organized organization of the data files and database what is clean clean is like there are for example we have a database of um, names let's say names right like first name is ron second name is ronnie third name is ronit right 
and we have a different databases we have a different data sectors or data cells whatever you want to call so this is also connected with ron ron it and so the this data is cleaned but when you see the unclean data so unclean data is that these are the data sectors this is ron so ron has this and this ron myth and ronnie ronnie has this and this and what about ronnie ronnie has this and this so this is unclean data that we need to clean for saving right which can be done on sql or excel or python and we will know optimize optimization of the data if the data is save in in a particular format and it can be accessible to a uh, few people in the organization so it should be optimized and optimized to all the users which can be accessible to all the users so format should be same for all the users right now moving towards what are the challenges we will face in this process first is data management because managing data because data analytics is the basics of data management right because we are managing the data so data management is it should be a major um, problem or major step when you deal with the data flexibility of the data for this flexibility of the data basically all the data can be accessible to the department members okay so it should be accessible to the all the department members first of all right this is correct accessibility same security we already studied about in the earlier process now moving towards let's say next process right so this is the database our database not the data repository because this is the data repository and from that we converted the data and save it our in our database so in this step so all the database can be accessible to your business stakeholder it depends well when you um, make the data when you create something it can be accessible to business owner right if you create a banking uh, app so all the apis access and all the business stakeholder access and all the programmer analyst access you should have when you create an application but for data science usage you don't i think uh, for application you don't, you don't need data science usage because this is a back end uh, version data science can be used only when you deal with the back end data when you create something in a visual form then you will need the data science and when you um, let's say when you analyze some data and when you predict when you want to predict some data like uh, in this month we have uh, x amount of profit so we need to check how much profit in next month we will get right so in this step we need the help of data scientist and data scientist requires the help of data analytics or data analysts right so these whole process are actually interlinked okay so moving towards the next step modern data ecosystem so presently we are dealing with three major data ecosystem which are big data cloud storage and machine learning now we'll study about cloud storage we all know what is cloud storage right 
uh, let's take some example here first is google drive second is your icloud which is nowadays many really common in uh, iphone devices or ios devices next is in the microsoft we have sharepoint and presently we also have azure and for amazon we have aws right so what is cloud storage basically this is not just a uh, this is not just a cloud which has the storage capacity and we will save in the cloud and when the rain comes and we'll have the data it's not like that only so this is basically cloud storage basically has a database which is connected with different servers it has the capacity of saving the data like uh, for google they have different data base locations right and in this we they have servers and data capacity right so they have unlimited storage yes they actually getting paid for that because for google uh, a user requires to pay some amount and for icloud they also require some to pay some amount so yes it is unlimited storage high performance yes high performance it is an open source technology yeah open source technology it can be linked with different apps we just need to have a api to link to our own website right but the thing is in cloud storage security plays the important role right because we need security because if we save some important files some confidential files in cloud storage what if uh, in the very next minute it got corrupted or it got hacked from some another user right so the next thing is machine learning so machine learning is predictive models by machine learning algorithm on past data so machine learning on with the help of machine learning we have data scientists right which is i've already explained in the earlier slide so data scientist help with the help of machine learning they create a predictive plan to predict companies or any institution future right so let's move towards another thing the big data what is big data so big data when you deal with the enormous amount of data or enormous rows or enormous columns of data in this step we require big data tools and technology so nowadays we have big data tools and technology sql can be used for big data python also can be used for big data but when you deal with excel excel uh, cannot handle big data they require some uh, proper tools that's why big data has different tools to work with So in the next video, we'll be studying about what are the duties of data analyst and what is the difference between data analysts and data analytics. So till then, keep analyzing and stay tuned. Thank you.